Oh my God, the lighting in here is phenomenal. It's like I have a natural diffuser. Should I be just like making my videos in my bathroom? Hi YouTube friends, so I'm here to help you with a common home repair type of situation that has to do with, of course, the bathroom, which is why I'm in here. And it's specifically the shower door and leveling the shower door. This applies to if you have a hinge system like I do and a fixed panel and a door that pivots, a swing door. So for this project, you're gonna need a couple of tools, nothing crazy. You're gonna need some sort of shim. So I use even popsicle sticks. A shim is just like a thingamajig. It's just a, actually, let's see. According to Wikipedia, a shim is a thin and often tapered or wedged piece of material used to fill small gaps or spaces between objects. Uh, in my case, I had popsicle sticks, and now you have a good excuse to eat a bunch of popsicles. Painter uh, stirring thing that you get at the hardware store is also really good. I have those hanging around my house. If you are by yourself, what's actually quite useful to use as well is a crowbar. You can also use a level if you really want to get granular on it. I just kind of went by eye and just gauged I had enough space on the bottom and on the side of the hinges. And you need an Allen key or Phillips screwdriver or flathead, whatever your hinge screws uh, are. I don't know, there was no other way for me to say that. In order to level your glass door, you need to understand how the shower is put together, the shower door. In my case, in this type of shower, I have my fixed panel and I have my glass door. These two things are held together with the hinge. There's a little bit of play in the glass door in the cutouts where the hinges are. There's a little bit of play and that happens when the hinges are slightly loosened, unscrewed, but not fully so the glass doesn't fall forward or backwards. And you have a glass panel, the door or the fixed panel, sandwiched with a gasket or this like rubber and then the metal hinge with you, which is what you see on the inside and outside. And that just sandwiched together super tightly and screwed in very well. And it just stays up like that. So let me just explain to you the process. The screws are on the inside. So I had to be in the shower, which means you want to protect your bathtub. So the first thing you want to do is lay down nice towel so that you can put your tools on it and you don't scratch it. Because trust me, very, very easy to scratch these tubs or if you drop something, it could create a dent. And that's happened before for me and it wasn't fun to fix. To remove the gasket, you just need to pull down here as much as you can. And when you get closer to the inside, you just need to pull away and it comes right off. Before you even start unscrewing anything, this is where you use your shims. So I use this thick, wide ruler I had just to eat up a little bit of height. Then I took popsicle sticks and I wedged them underneath to support the glass as, as best as I could. Just want to avoid it dropping a little bit. And if your glass panel is a little bit tilted, which it probably is if you're trying to level it, then just try to get as tight of a fit as you can and support it in two, three places. Definitely the ends if, you, if you're able to, and put one in the middle just for safe measure. Then you're going to unscrew the hinges that you need to in this project. That really depends on what the issue is that really varies from project to project. You're gonna have to see. If you're really unsure, you can unscrew all of the screws, which is door side and on the fixed panel side. Do not unscrew it fully. Just unscrew it a little bit so you see that it's loose so your glass can move around. And that is why we have the shims underneath to support it. If you have a friend helping you, this would be a lot easier to be able to do all the adjustments so one person can hold the panel. As I was alone, I used my crowbar. So you don't want this tip to hit the corner of your glass because that might shatter it. So you want to be very careful with this crowbar. Tuck it gently underneath and then just slowly use it as a lever or lever, whatever, tomato, tomato. Get it in so you can lift the glass higher up so it's leveled or put another popsicle stick, which is what I did. When you open and close it, the glass is not on full contact and scratching against each other. That would be horrible. So essentially this means that you're gonna have shims at the bottom and you're gonna need shims on the side, either the top, middle, or bottom. Whatever your leveling situation calls for, you will have shims to support the glass. Screw everything back in, nice and tight, and then you just put the bottom glass gasket back on. That's it, you're done. Like this video if it's helped you. Comment, let me know if you had any more questions, if this was clear, if you just wanna give me a high five, go ahead, give me a high five. And then in the like button, let me know if uh, these videos are helpful for anybody. I'm trying out these how-to guides now, so if I see that it's helping people, I have some other tutorials that I'm working on that uh, are things from around the house. 
So let me know in the comments how that is, and I will see you in the next video. Surprisingly, it was a little harder than I thought it would be to explain but it also might Before I could screw everything up and finalize the project, the second thing I had to do 